for coming. Um, how have you enjoyed the show? Yeah, very much. I mean, I've been here just, just this morning and I've been looking around, but, you know, broadband 20 years ago, 10 years ago, nobody think about it and look at it now. It's, it is, it's the future of telecoms, isn't oh, it? Wow. And then you, you made very, very useful contribution to discussions here, particularly the model that the UK right. followed in terms of almost making technology egalitarian. Right. Um, compared to the uh, compared to American cousins, yeah. so what would you say is the essential difference right. between the UK model and the American model? Well, I think the essential difference between the UK model and the American model is the level of competition in the landscape. Now, if you take the American model first, there is no requirement on Comcast or Verizon to open their network to service level competitors as there is in the UK, as there is in Sweden, as there is in, for example, New Zealand. So that they don't have that model. They believe in infrastructure-based, facilities-based competition. And the FCC will always argue that investment improves if there is infrastructure competition and it's not so good under service level competition. So that's the big difference. If you are a typical um, American consumer, you might have a monopoly of broadband providers or a duopoly. Now, here in the UK, as a result of the separation of BT's infrastructure division, OpenReach, we have 500 service providers, 500 wow. internet service providers. So we immediately have competition. So if you, Chris, don't like the, what, what you're being offered by your service provider, that's fine. There are another 499 that's to choose from. In America, duopoly and monopoly, that is not the case. So that is the first difference. The second one is we require transparency of um, traffic management. So we, we, we need people to be told how they are managing the traffic, just so that the consumer knows what the rules are. And thirdly, under the uh, internet code, you as an internet service provider are not allowed to block traffic uh, and, and throttle traffic. You're not allowed to do that. And if you do, you're not allowed to say that you give internet access. That's not allowed in the marketing. Now, all of that is self-regulatory. Oh, fantastic. And then on a personal note, uh, if you ask a 45-year-old person uh, about their internet provider or what devices they have at home, they are most likely going to say, please leave me alone because I schooled at a time when the technology was not there. Right. And today we have a report of 92 billion pounds being lost because SMEs, according to CBR really, SMEs are not exploiting technology. How have you been able to navigate age technology usage and say in a fast paced technological age like this you're still able to keep up well, I suppose first of all um, I, I've always enjoyed technology I mean the first technology I got to do with was was computer assisted learning uh, in America on a fellowship in 1967 and and you know I've always been interested. When I was at BT, I was one of the founders of Prestel, which was the first ever commercial view data video tech service, very much the predecessor of the web. First people to do email, first people to do tele-software, first people to do forms of e-commerce, and with excellent micropayments, because you could put on the page, the Prestel page, the amount you wanted the consumer to pay. So I've always enjoyed it, and I found, I'm not very, I mean, I, get, I do struggle at home with it, though. I mean, I, I, my wife and I, I mean, my wife's a writer, and uh, we do have our moments, so we are, and then we call in aid our children, who come, come to our aid, and uh, they can sit at the, the computer and sort it all out. But it's, I think it's, it's part of the world. I mean, technology is where the future is. I mean, it, it's what it's about. And we all know the huge increase in value added as a result of technology. Thank you very much, sir, for your, for sharing your thoughts with us and your wisdom. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Um, sorry, I, 